by the Information and Communication Unit of the Academy of Islamic Propagation, ACADI, at the World Press Conference organized to mark the foundation laying ceremony of the proposed Fortress University in Osho State, Nigeria. Today, Thursday, the 6th of May, 2021, corresponding to the 24th of Ramadan, 1,442 years after Hijra. The founder and national president of Akali, Malam Yusuf Adekoju, the board of trustees members here present, the vice president's administration and our barrister, Umar Saad Imam, and Sheikh Abu Wahid Adil, respectively. Other Akali National Executive Council members here present, members of the proposed Fortress University Support Group here present, all academic members here present, all academic fans and friends here present, all invited guests here present, distinguished followers around the world, ladies and gentlemen of the vibrant Nigerian press. On Saturday, the 8th of May 2021, history will be made as the first block of proposed Fortress University will be laid by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ashun State, Al Hajj Adigweyega Isaac Oyetola, at Iwo, here in Ashun State. This special event will be hosted by His Imperial Majesty, Oba Abdurashid Adewale Akambi, the Oluo of Iwo, on behalf of the entire sons and daughters of Iwo land. A special soul inspiring lecture will be delivered by the guest lecturer of the day a renowned Islamic scholar, the former chief imam of Federal Polytechnic Ede, and now the rector of Federal Polytechnic Ayede, Oyo State. The topic is knowledge perseverance, reclaiming the lost treasure of Muslims. It will be an epoch-making foundation laying ceremony that will be attended by an impressively large congregation of Muslims, men and women worldwide. Prominent guests willing to attend the ceremony include several Muslim senators, federal and state legislators, Muslim royal fathers and their chiefs, notable Muslim professors, Islamic scholars, academics, retired as well as serving public officers of governments and of private companies, professionals in their various fields, imams and other individual personalities. Also expected are interested several international guests from different parts of Africa, Europe, United States of America in particular, and across the globe in general. Because of the present restriction affecting international travels, thousands of academic followers and supporters would inshallah be watching the ceremony live around the world in different, on different social media platforms on that memorable day. On the 6th of January 2019, here in the city of Oshobo, the Oshun State capital, all academic members around the world collectively resolved to establish a private university where numerous feats of human endeavor will be taught. At the completion of the organization's 25th anniversary on the 12th of January 2020, all members of Academic National Executive Council were drafted to be members of the proposed Fortress University Implementation Committee, and the work began. Today, there are 190 universities in Nigeria. 43 are federal universities, 48 are state universities, while 99 are privately owned by organizations or high net worth individuals. Findings by the Implementation Committee reveal Findings by the Implementation Committee rather reveal many challenges being faced by these universities, especially private universities, top of which is funding. To maintain already set international standards, the importance of continuous funding for a university can never be overemphasized. Academic would like to use this medium to again appreciate the entire members of Fortress University Support Group who have pledged to be committing their resources weekly or monthly for Fortress University to become a reality. This set of pious Muslims, home and abroad, are what we call a pillar of support 
May Allah make it a reason why they will be all admitted into paradise. Amen. Academy of Islamic Propagation, ACADIP, which is a sponsoring organization, has been in existence for over 26 years, enlightening the public on what Islam is and what Islam is not, within Nigeria and beyond. We have been actively engaging in interfaith dialogues, fostering peaceful coexistence among people of diverse faiths and tribes. Our membership base spans across the six continents of the world, with Board of Trustees chaired by His Excellency Prince Abu Jabbar Bola Ajibola, a former World Court judge. Fortress University has been registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria with registration number RC1724363 and with the motto Learning for Peace, Humanity, and Salvation. The mission of the proposed institution shall be to produce skillful and self-reliant graduates who will illuminate the world with the required technical and godly knowledge. And the vision is a world where groundbreaking research works are used to serve humanity, a world where interfaith dialogue is used as a tool for peaceful coexistence among people of diverse faiths and tribes, and a world where piety becomes the watchword for the attainment of eternal bliss. The logo of Fortress University is superimposed on a two-color background of green and yellow. The dominant green attests to the fact that greenery is nature's pride. Besides, the most auspicious of the intrinsic values of this color is that which is associated with the abode of peace, paradise, according to the reference from Quran, chapter 55, verse 76. The accompanying yellow color, the color of gold, aptly denotes sunshine, brightness, enlightenment, and intensive creativity, which are core values of the citadel of learning. The logo consists of superstructure that symbolizes fortification elements that are quite essential in life, safety, strength, or protection, and comfort. On this, super, on this superstructure is hoisted a white flag, the natural sign of peace. The base of the design, which is fortified with Al-Kitab, the book, which is none other than the Ulu Quran, is a complete guide to peaceful life that is peaceful coexistence, and a panacea for eternal bliss, that is everlasting joy. The illumination emanating from this unique Ulu Quran is the light of truth that does not only expose, but also subdues the darkness. Fortress University will be a conventional university where all fields of human endeavor will be taught. However, our fields of focus will be one, comparative religion, otherwise known as interfaith dialogue, and conflict resolution. Two, information and communication technology, vis-a-vis -vis telecommunications, networking, programming, information security, artificial intelligence, robotics, internet of things, IoT, cloud technology, etc. And three, medicine, Islamic orthodox alternative. Let me elucidate on this. The most important thing in the world is peace, because we are now in a world that has what it takes to put an end to the existence of human race. World superpowers today have weapons of mass destruction that are atomical, chemical, biological, and even radiological. What this means is we can't afford to go to any war based on any difference, be it race, culture, religion, or whatever, dialogue must always be on the table. Also, there is a saying that Islam is the most misunderstood religion in the world. But at Akadib, we have already taken up this task of public enlightenment on what Islam truly is. We have engaged in several interfaith dialogues, home and abroad, and the records are clear that our style of dawah, our style of Islamic propagation, rather, has attracted thousands of non-Muslims to Islam. So the world will need interfaith dialogue experts and conflict resolution consultants. That is why Fortress University will be focusing on producing graduates in this area. Furthermore, the tune of the modern world is information and communication technology, ICT, 
Internet of Things is the next level because it speaks to the idea of smart home, smart office, machine-to-machine -machine communication. There will be need for so many information security experts to help protect our data from hackers or the so-called internet fraudsters. So we want to create what we call techpreneurs. These are entrepreneurs that are experts in ICT who will be job creators instead of being only job seekers. Also, coronavirus pandemic has exposed the limitations of orthodox medications, especially curative measure. COVID-19 has been added to the list of viral diseases that have no cure. We have resolved to management and recently vaccination. But in Islam, all diseases have remedies. So our proposed College of Health Sciences we harmonize orthodox Islamic alternative health care practices to give humanity groundbreaking innovations. The three key requirements in the establishment of a university are the academic brief, the university law, and the master plan. Academic brief has to do with the roadmap of all academic activities in the life of a university. This includes the curricula of all programs that the university will offer and the degrees that will be awarded. I am happy to inform you that at the moment, a group of scholars is drive, drafting rather the Fortress University academic brief. These scholars include serving vice chancellors of four universities and professors from different higher institutes of learning, home and abroad. The world should expect an unprecedented roadmap in Fortress University academic brief, with innovations in courses to be offered and even in terminologies. These scholars are committed to producing an academic brief that seeks to bridge the gap between classroom theoretical works and the practical real life experiences. The university law is another vital requirement in the establishment of a university. And as you might have been aware that ACADIP is blessed with many legal luminaries. The chairman of ACADIP Board of Trustees is a legendary legal icon, a senior advocate of Nigeria, a former attorney general and minister of justice of Nigeria, and a one-time judge of the World Court in Hague. His Excellency, Prince Abdul Jabbar, Bola Ajibola, CFR. The administrative vice president of ACADIP, who doubles as the chairman of Fortress University Implementation Committee, is a popular former chairman of Muslim Lawyers Association of Nigeria, Kwara State Chapter, Barista Umar Saad Imam. Many members of ACADIP National Executive Council are senior members of the Nigerian Bar, and even the chairman of the Shura is a senior lawyer. So with this word of experience, the world can begin to visualize what the content of our proposed university law will look like. Requirement is the university master plan, which is the most expensive. At the moment, the survey of the proposed university site has been done. Topography has been completed, and also the scientific soil test has also been carried out. These are the basis upon which the master plan of any university will be designed. This is currently being handled by civil engineers, surveyors, architects, and other urban and regional planning experts. The proposed Fortress University Implementation Committee had had several engagements with the National University Commission, and the preparations are on ground to receive the officials of this commission at the site of the proposed university after Saturday's foundation laying ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am, excited, I am excited to tell you that through some of our members in the diaspora, some leading institutions in the United Arab Emirates and the United States of America have shown interest in partnering with us when academic activity starts at Fortress University. See you at the foundation laying ceremony on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, uh, Chief Information Officer, um, Akadik. And I want to 
thank all of us who have been here seated and listening um, to the beautiful presentation made by our chief information officer. And I want to believe now that um, many people have been more educated on why we are here and on Akadib and also on the proposed Fortress University. Uh, but also we would like to have some questions uh, from the gentlemen of the press. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do it. If we have questions, okay, maybe you come around and uh, ask the question, uh, then it will be answered. Should we give numbers or we just call the name as, as, you, as you raise your hand? Okay, please come, come forward for the question. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Abdelhamid Ojebade. I report for Daily Trust newspapers. Um, I like to find out from Akadib why university. That's my question. And before I drop the mic, um, as a Muslim, I have a very serious concern about the education of um, Muslim children. In Oshogo, for instance, there is no standard quality Muslim or Islamic secondary school. Please check that. And by the time you finish your findings, you agree with me. And I think similarly at the primary school level. So I'm wondering why is Akadip, I mean, why is Akadip not starting? from let's say primary and secondary school and let's see what you can demonstrate. Or do you have a primary and a secondary school already? Yeah. Why starting at this level, a university? Thank you. Um, sh should we answer the question once and for all? So we have, okay, we have more questions. My name is Rafiul Hamid. I work for TVC. Um, when will academic activities commence? That's number one. Secondly, why the choice of Iwo as the location of uh, the university? I am, I am Sheila Abubakar. My name is Shina Abubakar. I write for Vanguard newspaper. Uh, my concern is private universities are always very expensive for the common man to be able to <laughs> afford such uh, schools. How, what is the affordability of uh, Fortress University if it picks up? My name is Joseph Atewa. I report for Epensa. Uh, going by this, you have 99 privately owned um, universities in this country. And if you go around the country, you have a lot of them still under construction. Uh, so my question will be directed to the engineer. How soon will this institution be ready? Because we've had so many press conferences and they just promised. And after years, we're still battling with it. Florence Baba Shola Lulu Kotemi, Lati Wiro Yan Laro Ye, Pelu Agbekale University Ye, Toda Lori Mubu Ryo Esin Islam. She o tu mo si pe o mo elesi miron bi kristen yi ta bi anwe elesi bile wwa o le lo si pe. Ni nu ya tu pa le iwe ti e tu ka fun wa ni oje we and so we pay Lori or Corona. We pay Emma Lo, she go to your Yibo, Ilanoti Musilumi, at the Abalaya Lati, if you want, would you to see Walla, the Shoro Corona, Tabi, see what we are back, but we could see me or Compato, Lati Yore, Mofebri, pay, she or more less in me not over Darapo, more university, see a meeting of Bag Bay.
Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, once again, my name is um, Engineer Mubarak Adepoju. So the, fir the first question goes to us. Why university at this moment? Um, the Board of Trustees, the National Executive Council, and the entire members of ACADIP world over resolved to establish a private university because of the importance Islam attaches to education. And as we speak, ACADIP already has a nursery school, a primary school, which will in no time germinate into a secondary school. So we think the next level is a university. We are also we, we are also being fired with the zeal of wanting to contribute to humanity. So vis-a-vis -vis the various feats that I have mentioned. Because we discovered that in Nigeria as we speak, there are many graduates. So these graduates are not only employed, majority of them are not even employable. So because of the quality of uh, what they get with our current educational system. So some members of ACADIP in, in diaspora, they've discovered that the, the main reason for this is that our university system currently finds it very difficult to bridge the gap between classroom theoretical works and the practical real life experience. So, so that's why uh, we are already, <laughs> so we are already thinking in the direction of uh, our uh, faculty of engineering department we will be working directly with all these uh, professional companies like telecommunications, information uh, technology, so that things like CWS uh, and all the, uh, what do they call it, industrial training for students, so will be done uh, at these uh, companies. So education generally is vital as far as Islam is concerned. So and taking up to the level of our uh, university is uh, what we really Love at Akadip. So very soon you start seeing. We've started in Ocean State. Our college is in Ilobu. So we might. It depends on uh, the resolution of uh, the National Executive Council where they want to move first. Because we are already thinking of expanding uh, our presence uh, on um, colleges of education. <laughs> so another question says: When will academic activities commence at Fortress University? So the foundation learning ceremony will be on Saturday. So that's when the first block uh, of our university will be laid. So immediately, massive capital projects will commence. So and we are hoping to have the first visitation of uh, the Nigerian University's commission officials before uh, the end of this quarter. That is Q2, that is between now and June. So that's when they will issue us the first approval. So but it, it still depends on how fast our supporters, the Fortress University Support Group, they are listening to us as we speak. They are watching us live at the moment. So it depends on how fast they fulfill our promises. But we have set a target of two years. So by 2023, we hope that academic activities will have commenced. <laughs> so another question says, What's the, what will be the affordability of Fortress University? Yeah, like um, we have rightly said, this is the greatest challenge of every privately owned university in Nigeria, funding. Because the university system requires that you uh, develop, you, you do research. So research, researches generally are very, very expensive. So you need, for, before you can be accredited, you need professors the NUC will be telling you that for a department to get accredited, you need like 10 professors. So and a professor, the minimum salary you can give a professor as you speak on a monthly scale now is 500,000 naira. So if you are to recruit 10 professors, you need doctors, you need um, PhD research students. So these are what will accumulate into monthly recurrence for overheads. So they tend to, the management of um, existing private universities tend to look towards generating this revenue from students. So, and it places a heavy burden on, on parents and guardians. So, but what we do differently is that we already have the set of people we call pillar of support. And these people have vowed that even after the completion of main capital projects of this university, they will never withdraw their support. That they will be contributing monthly. 
to this institution. So this will give us the opportunity to make the university affordable. Also, there will be lots of scholarships because we can't afford to let uh, some highly promising brains to go uneducated. So there, are lo there will be lots of indigent programs and also scholarships from people uh, from a less, less privileged area. So we will actively be focusing on a university that is affordable for, gen for the masses. So the fifth, for the fifth question, the, the, the question says, the question was asked in Yoruba, when you can see that you can university, so kinto be go fun a entonje a olor implementation committee so mu kan lera fi si pe ijoba o ti eni gba lati je pe ke se university ti e lesson kan o le lo so and in ti ara awon ti an gba le ro pelu university wa na ni pe a fe fi a aid in ti won pe ni peaceful coexistence bo gbo ese pata gbo elese pata na ni o lo sibe nitori pe a to fe na ka won yan ri a o ri ati adun ati daada ti o wa pelu esin slam pe esin alaafia ni so eleyi a awon barista wa won tun ma ba wa so le lori amoki ya wa ti o bere bere na a uh, lori kini kampani ti awon omo ya wa ti won ese muslim mi ori nibe o le je pe university yi agbe kale ni gbe kale titi e eh, jo yi to je ti muslim mi but gege bi eni ti ge bi e eh, jo kan to gbajuma to to si wa exposed no, my being see me in Yoruba. To laju, to si, to si ma, to si ma ufi. Well, mo for our so ya ipe. I want you could want to lawyer. I want to join a buy for our subsequent programs, for foundation day ceremony. We have so many lawyers, up to ten or more. La wa ti anra yi wa fun akadi program, and as the marking law so. Lori fundamental religious right of each individual in Nigeria are ready lati violate re in any way. So the kibu kwa umaya wa ting we see Muslimi kwa po kambale. their rights will be well protected in university now. Ashegon sir. So ni afikun ke kere ni kwe I want to answer Muslimi. I don't want to do lati wa si university wa. To repeat, see a city when you march, Tamba de University wa want to mercy, but don't see a wati be lower. So I want to one cock or cooler me a lower law by our professor. See, you don't tie jewel, no cut on co, or none, you pay one coy matu jido, nepa book bues and pata pata. Tamba go to my beauty as in what he bury. So from I get back contribution, dear Lati or the Ludasile again. Okay, Mama, what be I sincerely uh, commend our mother for asking that very beautiful question. Uh, just a very small contribution uh, to let it be clear to those that are listening to us because people are watching us. Uh, around the world as uh, we are speaking uh, I want it to get it straight that Islam is a religion of peace and that the Holy Quran which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, state that La Ikra Afidin let there be no compulsion in religion uh, even though Allah enjoins us in the Quran that let there be a band of people among you uh, forbidding what is uh, unjust, what is wrong, and enjoining what is right. And God says as well that in, we should invite all to the way of your Lord with wisdom 
and beautiful preaching. But still, God said it's a, a great and big warning that there should be no compulsion in religion. So uh, the non-Muslims, the non-Muslim students uh, that will attending this uh, Fortress University should know that their rights will be surely protected and there wouldn't be any coercion or intimidation to accept the religion of Islam. Thank you, sir. So we still have two questions. The question says, why the cho choice of Iwo for a Fortress University? The initial plan was to establish the university in Kwara State. Ipani specifically. So, but we encountered some challenges that we feel might have, might impact the progress of university in the future. So we had to relocate. We relocated to a constitution state after a few months. Or, or your state, rather, after a few months. We had similar situation. But I, I think the choice of Iwo is very, very, it, it is divine and very, very significant because <laughs> even we were with His Excellency, the Governor of Oshun State on Sunday, and he was very happy that the university would be going to Iwo because of the heritage mm. and uh, of that ancient town. Iwo is known for anything Islamic, anything peace, and they always, they are very, very friendly to um, strangers. So the university, we feel the university community will have no issue going to um, rather uh, carrying out university activities and it will, since we have the support of his imperial majesty, Oba Rashid Akambi, and the entire sons and daughters of the <laughs> So Alaro Yebirik be alternate orthodox and, um, and Islamic medicine. So it, 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 so ele yi ton challenge wa pe awon eyan wa o ti fori kori dada won ti ronu bo se e kan e kan lori ima ta so yi so awon ima yen ti wa wa a ma ri lori news lori social media print and electronic media that people will be claiming that we found cure to this disease we found cure to hiv and things like that but still ton ba gbe fun research a ma ri pe ko wa calibrated ara ko wa documented a ma rejected so ele to je pe o gbodo wa backed by scientific research so in islam ni section kan ni in islam section e wo san prophetic an pe ni prophetic medicine so ala won anti to le treat virus so the antivirus antioxidant ko da ala won tan pe ni anti stami so awon expert won won wa legbe mo tin sore so I want kini yen no ma awon nkan to ku kese kakan bu ni bi ta tin ta locally so our supply gbogbo scientific uh, process to require la ti se research yen ta awon akeko wa to ki won de ma gbe da de saye so lori awon wo pe an ran kan pe to lu ase olorun fortress university yo je bi ti won ti koko discover permanent cure for any viral disease <laughs> So kinto pari ele ma je ki chief imam wa ki won contribute lori agbon ti mo so ye feel the one ah bismillah salatu wassalam ala rasulullah do lati se afikun mo ta pe yoba na ni wan bere ni pa ti information officer so bi bere yen se wa gan ni pe pelu awon alaka le yi ati lo ilana usan ti islam ni abi titi uh, ele ti ama ti o gbajuma abalaye yen ni mi fe lo eh mo fe mo fe approach mo fe the language ti bile eh so di won di won abalaye ma wa so ma o so me fa yo nbe ni wi pe won wa ni en ti o ba balara mo nko awako ni pe ge bi founder wa se so there's no compulsion in religion ah ni fi pa mo enika but in to sun maju ni pe ko ba gbugbu ara yi lara mo why 
Prophetic medicine has been in existence for years. This is what I've been doing for 21 years. Okolo kwa wun yama ni fesi. In fact, in my record, I want to see what is a wusa for 21 years. Christian Lukwachu. Eh, no fit eh. So you did not repay. They are environmentally friendly. One day I want to just repay me yama ni fesi. So you need to last of a couple of bawa yama laram. Eh, abi oru oru zetu olive oil. Sila ni oni bawa yama laram. So no fit just repay one kind. They are naturally existing prophetic medications or medicines. So that's great. They are readily available. They appear very cheap. They have no side effects whatsoever because they are naturally existing. So today they don't have any artificial additives. Mm. So people will love them and people have been loving it. Salam wow. alaikum. Wow. All right, thank you. Um, uh, Aki, I want, oh, sorry, we are back in English, sorry. Um, uh, Alaro Ye is making the, <laughs> the program to be actually fantastic. All right, uh, we thank you for your questions. I think uh, we have answered them the way you would have wanted us to answer them. And that's a uh, paved way for uh, more clarification and clarity on Hakadi, on Fortress, and on what we want to do. Uh, we would be using this medium to appreciate everybody who has made it here today to be part of the program. Uh, may God reward you abundantly. And I will use this medium to call on our Imam to lead us in the suspension prayer. And that will uh, symbolize the end of the program. You're welcome, sir. Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi wa ala ahlihi wa ashabihi wa jamii wa mawala ila ya umidin. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making this uh, uh, program possible. We planned it that we wanted to have it, and Allah from His infinite mercy made it possible to have it. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the life of our founder. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the life of our uh, vibrant press men. We also thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it possible for, for the, all the people that attended this occasion to be here. We now pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should make it possible for us to get to our different destination in peace. Uh, as we're having the program on Saturday, we make we pray to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make uh, the program each free for us Amen. and make it a successful one. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Shadu an la ilaha ila anta astaghfirka wa atubu ilayh. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati wa yasifun. Wa salamu ala al mursaleena. Walhamdulillahi rabbil um, I was actually directed to inform the uh, gentlemen of your prayer that is, if there's anyone, please, uh, please listen to this, sirs. The gentlemen of the press, uh, I was have to, to to let you know that if there's anyone who needs the audio documentation of what we just did, you uh, bought audio and um, the digital audio would have been done. We can see um, this, is my brother Abdullah. We can get just get their contact number, I mean maybe WhatsApp number, so that you forward it to them. Uh, watch after the program. All right, so let's let's use uh, okay. You can use this. Sorry, Imam. So name and what's some number. Okay, thank you and good afternoon.